expanding. Let's move on and look at another feature that we have here. This time I will be working with the profit column. Okay. And what's my condition? Let's go here to color scales. When we use color scales, you can see different gradients. This is yellow, uh, green, red, uh, green, yellow, and red, right? So the highest range, higher values will get green color. The medium range values will be in yellow and the low range values will be in red. This is the opposite of that. Okay, like that we have different color schemas from where we can choose what we might want to use. So I will just go ahead and use the first one. The first one, green, yellow, red scale. But what does this exactly do? Let me show you. Okay, uh, what this did is, if you look at the data here, right? The least value is zero. That has got a, a nice red color. And you can see medium values are in yellow. High range values are in green. And if you see very dark shade of green, that is here, 367, that's a dark shade of green. Relatively lesser values are having a lighter shade of green. And when we go towards, me, um, you know, these numbers, it is yellow and very less values are in shades of red. So it basically segregated your data and through a color gradient, it is indicating the value. This kind of representation can also be called a heat map. It can be called a heat map. So for this, I will show you another example, which will be more meaningful. Here I am on color scale. So this is some data that I have. Okay. Uh, this is the, uh, the sales, let's say this is the sales of various products that coffee chain business is selling and the sales that has happened across different months, all the way up to December, I have my data. Okay. So I simply want to give some sort of color code to understand this data. Basically, I would like to draw the attention of the users towards the high and low values. When you want to maybe significantly highlight the highs and lows, then you can go ahead and give a background color. Color depending on the value that is present in that field. So I'm going to highlight this entire range. Go to conditional formatting and simply use the color scales. Okay, so what has happened here? Depending on the value we're getting. So wherever you see red, it is basically indicating that the sales is very less. For example, for regular espresso, for mint, for green tea, they're not selling much. Colombian coffee, that is selling a lot. Okay, then we have um, lemon tea, which is okay. Mocha is fine. Rest of them are kind of medium, Darjeeling, uh, decaf espresso and all. Whereas certain products are not selling much. The sales is very, very less over here in these cases. Okay. So here we can't see the color legend as such. Simply by looking at the colors, we should understand. Okay, Karthik, there is no separate legend. This itself is uh, conveying the information to us. All right. So this is about color, color gradient, okay, color scales. Data bars is one option. Color scales is another option. I hope you all understood the significance of color scales well after seeing this example. Now we will talk about Another feature that is present here, which is called icon sets. Another interesting way to highlight your data. The color scales are based on the values that are present in the field. It is based on the values. It is dividing your data into three ranges. Okay, it is dividing the data into high range, medium range and low range. And based on that, it has given the colors. No, no. Okay, the question here is, uh, if we, we've done this month-wise, how do we differentiate the colors? See, I have not chosen one single state here I or one single uh, month here. I have chosen the entire data, isn't it? If you observe very closely, within each cell, there is a slight difference in the color gradient. 
If you compare 8,568 and 7,464, there are two different shades of colors here. Not very significant, but they are two different shades of colors. Or this one and this one. In the same row, there are two different shades of colors. Why? Each cell is being colored depending on the value that it holds. Did you all understand? Each and every cell is getting a color based on the value that it holds. If you look at 11,975, it is slightly darker compared to 9,000. There is a difference in the shade of the color depending on the value. Let me do one thing. Um, let's say here I will just increase this to 12,000. So what will happen? Or 100 and, uh, 120,000. It has changed. So now I hope it is clear. It's not coloring the entire row with the same color. It is giving the color based on the value in the cell. Let's make this around 5,000. So look at the color. Okay. Now I hope it's clear. So I'll undo that. 